With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question, it is given that we need to find the hydrogen molecule differing from chlorine molecule in the following respect. So four statements are given. We have to find the correct statement. So the first it is given that hydrogen molecule is non-polar but chloride molecule is that is not the case because if you see the chlorine and hydrogen molecule so drawing the structure for chlorine that is Cl, Cl and hydrogen is H, H. So over here what happens is both molecules are symmetrical. Then it is also seen that same electronegativity of both the atoms that is chlorine has same electronegativity and chlorine has same electronegativity basically both the atoms which are attached together with a bond are same. Next it is seen that the shared pair of electrons is in between since the molecule is symmetrical and the electronegativity of both the atoms involved is same so what happens is here the bond becomes non-polar that means that it has net dipole moment as zero so mu is determined as net dipole moment therefore it can be concluded that this statement is incorrect. Why? Because hydrogen molecule is non-polar and chloride molecule is also non-polar. Moving forward, we have hydrogen molecule is polar while chlorine molecule is non-polar. This is also not the case. Why? Because hydrogen and chlorine both are non-polar. The third statement which is given to us is that hydrogen molecule can form intermolecular hydrogen bonds but chloride molecule does not. So why this happens is if you see first of all hydrogen bonding is a special type of bond basically it is a special type of dipole dipole interaction or you can say it is basically attraction and this arises when hydrogen atom is bonded to electronegative atom which exists in vicinity of another electronegative atom. So in this case what happens is hydrogen will show hydrogen bonding but chlorine or you can say the chloride ion does not form does not form hydrogen bond as size of atom is high and you can say that therefore electron density is too low to form hydrogen bonds therefore the option number c is the correct option because hydrogen can form intermolecular hydrogen bonds but chloride molecule does not moving forward to the last statement that it has given hydrogen molecule cannot participate in coordinate bond formation but chlorine molecule can if you see the statement this statement is also true why because if you see the electronic configuration of hydrogen and chlorine so basically hydrogen has atomic number one electronic configuration one is one so complete transfer of this electron will happen happen and in the case of chlorine what happens is we have the configuration as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 and the atomic number is 17 over here 
So if you count the number of electrons it is 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10, 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17. So 17 is the atomic number over here. What happens initially when one electron is lost? So this becomes 3s2 and 3p4 and here we have neon. Neon 3s2 3p4. So what happens is the four electrons over here can form two pair of lone pairs and this lone pairs can be acting as making actually this chlorine as ligands and this can be easily donated to the metal and forming coordinate bonds therefore we can say that among the four statements the two two statements which are correct is option number c and option number d thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today